Number 5. Rodney James Alcala Also known as the Dating Game, Killer, John Berger, John Berger and Rod Alcala An American convicted rapist and serial killer who was sentenced to death in California for five murders and received an additional sentence for 25 years to life after pleading guilty to two homicides committed in New York in 1971 and 1977. Alcala's true victim count remains unknown and could be much higher. It was estimated that his victims were approximately 8 to 130 people. He would use his good-looking appearance claiming to be a photographer and offering some women to start a modeling career. He would take few photos. After that, he would attack and rape his victims, then kill them. He was even selected as a contestant in the dating game. A woman found all his calls too creepy and refused to go out with him while he was on the show. Alcala compiled a collection of more than 1,000 photographs of women and teenage girls, many in sexually explicit poses. In 2016, he was charged with the 1977 murder of a woman identified in one of his photos. Prosecutors have said that Alcala toyed his victims, strangling them until they lost consciousness, then waiting until they revived, sometimes repeating this process several times before finally killing them. Number 4. Andre Chikatilo Named as a butcher of Rostov, the Red Reaper, and the Rostov Reaper. He sexually assaulted, murdered, and mutilated at least 52 women and children ranging in age from 7 to 45 between 1978 and 1990. He used his knowledge as a former school teacher to lure runaway children from rail stations into the wooded areas around Rostov, where he would rape and murder them. According to psychologists, he found murder sexually arousing and would only achieve orgasm while stabbing his victims. He was able to evade capture for so long due to the mix of corruption and bureaucratic attempts to cover up the killings in order to maintain the myth of serial murder being solely a western phenomenon. Two innocent men were tried and executed for his crimes. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russian authorities sought help from the FBI and were able to capture Chikatilo after an extensive stakeout of railway stations around the Rostov region. He was convicted to all 52 murders and was executed by gunshot to the head in 1994. Number 3. Fred and Rose West Frederick West was an English serial killer who committed at least 12 murders between 1967 and 1987 in Gloucestershire. The majority with his second wife, Rosemary West. All the victims were young women. At least 8 of these murders involved the Wests sexual gratification and included rape, bondage, torture and mutilation. The victims' dismembered bodies were typically buried in the cellar of garden of the West Cromwell Street home in Gloucester, which became known as the House of Horrors. Fred is known to have committed at least two murders on his own, while Rose is known to have murdered Fred's stepdaughter, Charmaine. The couple were apprehended and charged in 1994. Fred West fatally asphyxiated himself while on remand at each prison Birmingham on 1st of January 1995, at which time he and Rose were jointly charged with nine murders and he with three further murders. In November 1995, Rose was convicted of 10 murders and sentenced to 10 life terms with a whole life order. Number 2. Leonardo Shanchuli She was an Italian serial killer better known as the soap maker of Correggio. She murdered three women in the town of Correggio, Reggio Emilia, between 1939 and 1914, and turned their bodies into soup and tea cakes. In 1939, Chanchuli learned that her eldest son and favorite child, Giuseppe, was going to join the Italian army in preparation for World War II. She was determined to protect him at all costs, and came to the conclusion that his safety required human sacrifices. Chan Shuli's first victim was Faustina Seri, who was a lifelong spinster, who had come to her for help in fighting a husband. Chan Shuli told her of a suitable partner in Pola, but asked her to tell no one of the news. She also persuaded Seri to write letters and postcards to relatives and friends. 
they were to be mailed when she reached Pola to tell them that everything was fine. Preparing for her departure, Sadie came to visit Chanchuli one last time. Chanchuli offered Sadie a glass of dry wine, then killed her with an axe and dragged the body into a closet. There she cut it into nine parts, gathering the blood into a basin. In her official statement, she threw the pieces into a pot, added seven kilos of caustic soda, which she bought to make a soap, and stirred the mixture until the pieces dissolved in a thick, dark mush that she poured into several buckets and emptied into a nearby septic tank. As for the blood in the basin, she waited until it had coagulated, dried it in the oven, ground it and mixed it with flour, sugar, chocolate, milk and eggs, as well as a bit of margarine, kneading all ingredients together. She made lots of crunchy tea cakes and served them to the ladies who came to visit, though Giuseppe and Chen Shuli also have eaten them. Number 1. Russell Williams He was a British-born Canadian convicted murderer and former colonel in the Canadian forces. From July 2009 until his arrest in February 2010, Williams commanded CFP Trenton, Canada's largest military airbase, and hot for the country's foreign and domestic air transport operations. He was also a decorated military pilot who had flown Canadian forces VIP aircraft for dignitaries such as Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Philip, and the Governor General and Prime Minister of Canada. On February 8, 2010, Williams had relieved as the base commander of CFP Trenton due to criminal charges. An investigation and subsequent confession showed he had been breaking into 82 women's houses to steal underwear, including little girls, later escalating to sexual assault and two counts of rape and murder. On October 22, 2010, Williams was stripped off of his commission, ranks and awards by the Governor General of the recommendation of the Chief of Defense Staff. His severance pay was terminated and the salary he received following his arrest was seized although he is still entitled to a pension. Subsequent to his conviction, his uniform was burned, his medals were destroyed, and his physical crashed and scrapped.